The ARC-5 communication receivers were a common sight in many wartime US bomber aircraft, although most regularly seen here were the HF or shortwave variants. Each of these just covered a single wave band and incorporated Bowden cable remote control tuning. The R-28 ARC-5 model was a VHF device which was mainly used for short-range aircraft to aircraft or aircraft to ground communications. Whilst the standard ARC-5 HF receiver cases were coloured black, the VHF version was aluminium and mounted separately and was significantly larger. It too had remote control adjustment but was limited to just four crystal controlled set frequencies, the channel changing being achieved by a small remotely mounted panel, the controls on which include the volume control and four push buttons. The black switch box we're using here was made up of modern parts as an original was unavailable at the time. Interesting, most of the selectable frequencies used are still in use today by the aviation industry. Like its HF variants, the R28 VHF unit derived its high tension supply from a dynamo to mount at the back of the chassis. We'll be using this original feature from our demonstration, although it's rather noisy in operation. Likewise, as the channel actuating mechanism is done in an electromechanical means, it too gives a good audible account of itself. For this demonstration, we're going to use a simple RF signal generator to radiate a switch tone at one of the set's crystal control frequencies in order to properly demonstrate the receiver's operation. The power supply we're using is simply used to provide the unit with a required 28 volts DC to drive the valve heaters, the dynamotor, and the motorized section of the channel changer. Note that it only takes a short time for the valves and receiver to heat up, at which time a loud mush can be heard from the loudspeaker. <laughs> 